Sarah Stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Well, it's a very gloomy, rainy day here in central Louisiana, and we're under a flash flood warning until uh, Thursday evening. And Lake Charles has had a lot of really bad flooding and Lafayette has had some bad flooding too. And I'm gonna show y'all some pictures of the flooding that has occurred in these cities. bad and like the Cajun Navy has been coming around doing rescues with all this flooding and hopefully my town doesn't experience the flooding so far so good but more than likely certain areas will start to flood in my town um, we've never had experience you know we've never had issues where our house is with the flooding getting bad and like our house is kind of elevated some too so the water has to really get high to get into our house so ho hopefully everything stays good for us so I have um, been working on my temperature blanket and I'm caught up for this past week yay <laughs> So this past week, the temperature averaged in the 70s, and this is the progress. And I'm also going to show you a picture of the blanket with Frank holding it up so y'all can see it better now that it's starting to get bigger. my temperature blanket is looking like and by the way I tried to get Frank in this video but he didn't want to today so but I got I got him in a couple of pictures for y'all so y'all still get a little taste of Frank and I have I am about to show you the progress on my ocean sea turtle blanket and and I got a good bit done this past week because I was on the first row of this lighter shade of blue here. So, and I'm starting to, I'm not just now starting to get an even lighter shade of blue incorporated into it. And after that, then I do, well, I'm going to be using cream yarn for the very last section of the blanket and then I'll start putting the sea turtles and starfish on it and I'm thinking about I may do some coral and different uh, sea animals too on my blanket so I can't wait till it gets done but I may I may end up having to pause on the blanket again because around June 1st 
I want to start working on my 4th of July or patriotic scarf that I plan to start designing the pattern for. So I really want that pattern to be finished with by the 4th of July. So be looking forward to me designing my first my first scarf pattern. So and it's going to be a patriotic scarf. So now I want to show you some pictures that my viewers have have sent to me of their finished projects. And I have pictures from Brenda L, Brenda Y, two Brendas, <laughs> Carrie M, Nadine J, and Amarina G. And they just all did amazing jobs on their projects. So let's take a look. I mean, their projects are beautiful. They're amazing. Um, but yeah, if you want to have your pictures on my video, all you need to do is email me your finished project pictures at justanotherstitch2020 at gmail.com. Or you can post pictures on my Facebook group, and my Facebook group is linked in the description box below. But... I'm also curious, what are y'all currently working on? What are y'all currently uh, crocheting, that is? Let me know in the comments below. So I'm curious, a few weeks back, maybe, I probably, it's probably been about a month now, I mentioned about this new TV uh, series called Cruel Summers that plays on Freeform. And I'm wondering, have y'all checked that, that, um, that little series out yet? Let me know that too in the comments. But it's finally starting to get good. And um, I'm, I'm curious how things, you know, will turn out. Because they do say at the end of the, end of the season, we're supposed to have the answers to what really happened. So, yeah. And if y'all haven't watched it, check it. Go check it out. It, it's a good little show. news today well initially I really didn't think I was gonna have any cat news for y'all because my cats really haven't been doing much of anything new that was really newsworthy to mention but they found they finally got into some you know their little shenanigans yesterday so um well Allie Al Allie has a new hiding spot I don't know where she's been hiding. Um, <laughs> and sometimes that happens where I just, I don't know where she goes. And, and then some of her little hiding spots I discover. But like, I know like she was, she came around yesterday and she was meowing a lot. She was being very talkative and, and meowing loud for her. Because I mean, I mean, she doesn't meow loud in general. But for her, she was meowing loudly. And it was just like, oh. <laughs> and I always love hearing her meow. Because I, I really think she hisses more than she actually meows. That's my alley kins. And then Sophie, well, Frank put this box, box out. And Sophie adopted the box. You know, cats love their boxes. And it was so cute because she was just chilling in the box. And, you know, she, she slept in the box. And she was just, a, you know, you just had to see how cute she was. But that's really all my cats have gotten into. 
lately. They've just been mostly doing the same old, same old. But now I want to show you some pictures of my viewers' pets. And I have a picture from Angela W. of her dog, Grayson. And Deanna G. sent a picture of her kitty, Pepper. So let's, let's see their precious animals. like your pet pictures to be on my channel on my videos do the same thing you can either email them to me or submit them in my Facebook group and I'd love to share share your pet pictures so that's all I have for y'all today and hopefully this rain doesn't get too much too much worse here in Louisiana and hopefully nobody else floods but anyway I hope everyone is having a fabulous yarny day be the light and bye!